From our Bayes rule example, we are trying to determine the probability that we have the new machine, B, given that we have a defective Frisbee, D. So we're trying to determine the probability of B given D. Thus, we know that we have a defective Frisbee. So we know that we do not have to worry about having a not defective or a good Frisbee. So we don't need the not D, right? So we can go through and we can say, we don't even need these parts of the decision tree. Now, what we are being asked with this Bayes rule is to see what is the probability that we have the B element, the new machine side of things, that we are up in this area of the decision tree, right? What's the probability that we're up there? Given this new total probability that we are either in one of these two sections where we have a defective Frisbee. So what's the probability we're on the top part of the decision tree given that we have the defective Frisbee? We need to find the probability of being on the top part of the decision tree given that we have this total probability here. We need to divide the chance that we are in the new machine area divided by the chance that we have of being in the entire area of having a defective Frisbee, the total probability of having a defective Frisbee, this entire area. Note that the denominator is the same equation as the total probability for having a defective Frisbee. And in the numerator, we are seeing what is the probability that we are in the new machine area given that we have this defective frisbee as well.